bags for the ride. His roof is the sky above. He loves when it rains, or it cheers the plains, and he'll come for there's plenty and a song. Wherever he may roam, the saddle's his own. Is the life of Boys, hi. Hi. Well, here's the mail. Hooray! Hooray! The mail. Uh, Hank Edwards. Thank you, boss. Jack Adams. Thanks. Uh, Tom Lansing. Here. Ain't there none for me? Mm, sorry, Bounty. Nothing doing. Gosh, I guess all my women forgot me. <laughs> Not bad news, is it? Yes, Bounty. Dad's in trouble. Your dad? Yeah. Read it yourself. Gee, that is tough news. What are you going to do about it? Quit the office, of course, and see Dad. Mm, I reckon that's about all you can do. Don't say anything to the foreman what you read in that letter. Say, as far as anybody's concerned, I ain't even read it. Well, Mr. Cole, what is it, Tom? I have to ask you to let me out. What do you mean, let you out? I mean, I've got to quit. Well, is anything wrong, Tom? Oh, no, nothing's wrong here. Best outfit I ever worked for. But, uh, well, I just can't tell you, Mr. Cole. But I've got to get to Cheyenne on, well, some awful important business. Well, I hate to see you go, Tom. But if you must, you must. Here's your time. You can get it cash at the ranch office. I sure hate to lose you. Much obliged, Mr. Cole. Well, good luck, Tom. And remember, you can always be top man on this outfit. Thank you, Mr. Cole. I want to quit, too. Now, what's eating you? Well, I'll tell you, Mr. Cole. I got liver trouble. And my kidneys ain't as good as they used to be. And I do think I got a little touch of malaria. Well, I guess aside from that, you're all right. No, not exactly. Sometimes I get black spots in front of my eyes. And some of these days, I'm just going to go nuts. Oh. Oh. I think Tom's troubles are your troubles. All right, Bendy. Here's your time. And you can collect along with Tom at the ranch office. Oh, thanks, Mr. Cole. I feel better already. <laughs> Say, what do you mean? Well, I'm sick as a dog, Tom. And I got a vacation coming anyhow. Listen, buddy. Are you really sick? Now, wait a minute. Before you start to bawl me out, you're in trouble. Suppose I am. There's no reason why you should quit your job. Well, who helped me out when I got in a jam with a fat dame? Well, you would have been married to her and, and have a couple of children besides. <laughs> That's right. And who stood by me when I got in a jam with a skinny dame? Well, she would have been married to you. Right again. Well, now you're in trouble. Not that kind of trouble, Fanny. I know, but where you go, I go. Think it over, Fanny. 
You may get in the biggest trouble of your life if you follow me. Say, as long as there ain't no women connected with it, I'm with you. Okay, pal. Trouble you'll get. Great. Son, I know that Butcher Wells killed old man Halliday. I was framed. Any witnesses? No. And unless he's found and made to confess, I can't prove my innocence. Any idea where he hangs out? Yes. They make their headquarters at Twin Rock Canyon, a ghost city east of the desert. I've heard of it. But I've never been there. A man that once goes in there never comes out again. I'm going in, and I'm coming out. And with Butch Wells right alongside of me. Son, it's a dangerous trail you'll be a riding, and you'll have the toughest gang in the West to contend with. Never mind, Dad. I'm going. I'm coming out with Butcher Wells, or not at all. Your time's up, Lansing. Goodbye, Dad. Good luck, son. Hello, man. Hello, Nevada. I'm going to tell him right now. It's no use. He ain't going to let you go. Nobody ever gets away from here without his permission. Well, I'm going to. do for you. I've got a 
got to get out of this place. Oh, yeah? I've got to get to my uncle's ranch. I've been here for three days now, and he'll be worried sick. So you want to leave us flat, huh? Oh, I appreciate everything you've done for me since you found me on the desert. And I'll gladly pay you when I get to my uncle's. Sure. And tell everybody about this hideout and have the law on us? Oh, no. I swear I won't. You're here, and you're going to stay here. But you promised to take me out as soon as I was well again. Sit down. I've changed my mind about you. What do you mean? You look good to me, Angel Face. And I got a great big surprise for you. You're going to be Mrs. Kramer. No! No! Yes. Are you filthy beast? I'd never marry you. I'd die first. That's the way I like them. Regular Spitfire. Kid, you're great. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, boss. I didn't know you had company. Oh, that's all right. You stay here. All right, kid, you can run along. See you later. Pretty swell dish, boss. Yeah? And don't you go button in. Me? Why, well, I wouldn't think of it. Well, Rose, I've got to get away from here. And you have to help me. Sure, I'll help you all I can, honey. But it won't do a bit of good. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Could you get me some men's clothes? You bet I can. But you're just a-wasting your time. What's new? I just got the lowdown on that new gold shipment that's coming in tomorrow. Good. What time's it to be? About 29, unmarried. A birthmark on the left shoulder. Wanted by the law for killing a deputy sheriff. Anything else you'd like to know? Yes. I wonder if you realize you're in a tough spot without your right. That's why I headed this way. Guy here just bumped off a John Law. Says his name is Smith. Trouble? Plenty. You know where you are? I have a suspicion. So have we. If you're okay, you won't have to worry. That's what I thought. I'm not worrying.
What's the idea, Beth, and why the disguise? You let me go. You go on back. I won't. Oh, you... Oh, you little white candle. Hey, you keep out of that. I know you're a crook, but I shouldn't keep you from acting like a man. Why, you... Wait a minute, you've had enough. Now, what's the argument all about? Bess was making the getaway, and I stopped her. This guy butted in. Well, Angel Face, caught in the act, eh? I told you I was going to have this place. Yeah? Well, you get back to camp. Go on. Who are you? None of your business. Yeah? Well, I'm making it my business to find out who's who when they come here. I'm the law in Twin Rock Canyon. Well, I'm here, and what about it? What do you want? Nothing much. Just a hideout for a spell. So things blow over. John Law after you? More or less. Mostly more. Mm, well, I guess we'll take a chance on you. We're all more or less in the same boat. I won't ask any favors. All I want to do is to work along with you. Well, that's all right, too. We'll soon find out if you mean it. I mean it, all right. Well, we'll keep this until you prove yourself. And another thing, my friend. Remember, we share everything except our women. I get you. Hot diggity dog! It worked! Well, you're right. I must it. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. I tell you, that old vinegar owned sees all and knows all. But there was a new man there I never saw before. He fought in Nevada and the guards for me. Yeah. But you didn't get away, did you? No. <laughs> Darn right you didn't. You 
You boys go to your cabins. Smith, make yourself at home. Take that third cabin up there. It's empty. Much obliged. him for trying to help me. Well, vamoose, I'll get the water. I want to thank you for your help. Why, that's all right. Smith, my name, Tom Smith. Tom for short. Say, Kramer, that new fellow will bear watching. I don't like him. <laughs> well, anyhow, he can fight some. And I got an idea to make him my top hand. In your place. <laughs> but how did you get in this place? Well, I was on my way to my uncle's ranch across the desert. And I lost the trail. There was no water. I rode on for two more days trying to find the trail. And then my horse died. I was out of my mind when Kramer and his men picked me up. And then they brought you here? Yes. Kramer said he'd take me to my uncle as soon as I was able to travel again. And now he won't let me go. Kramer. Something I want to show you. And he wants to marry me. Fast worker, ain't you? What do you mean, fast worker? I told you we shared everything except our women. Yeah, I got you the first time. But I haven't had the pleasure yet of meeting your lady friend. Trying to be funny, eh? Not at all. The only ladies I met are the cook and Miss Roberts here. Yeah? Well, Miss Roberts happens to be my... No, no, I'm not. I guess you made a mistake. Mistake nothing. And you keep away if you want to keep healthy. Talking big with your equalizer. Equalizer? Oh, you're just another bad man who can't be tough without his gun. You take that back. Forget your gun and then make me take it back. All right, come on, you cheap cowboy. Winner take all? Take all what? The woman. All right. And anything goes. Come on, get up. 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 Get up.
Get in there. Come on, get in there. Come on, that's the dog. Get him on the floor. Come on, get up. This is not a boot. Not a bat. Come on, get up there. Get up there. the law here, so that no man can steal the other fellow's woman. I see. So you fellas trust each other. Well, suits me. All right. <clears throat> I hereby pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Wagon is on the way. All right, boys, get mounted. You too, Smith. Well, wife, see you later. We're going to take a chance on you, Smith. Cover me from over there. Smith, you cover me from those willows. Right. Boys, come on.
Nevada's got us covered. And Smith in his place. and wait for my signal. I got you, pal. in the show. And I suppose you don't know you almost killed me and Dick. It wasn't me, boss. I was knocked out. Knocked out? Who knocked you out? I don't know. I just come to a few minutes ago. Yeah, you're crazy. I saw you plain as day behind that push. And Smith was following on behind the Willis. And it was your gun that was doing the barking. I ain't lying, boss. Honestly, it wasn't me. Well, never mind. I'll find the truth, and when I do, whoever done this better start praying. Dick, you and Smith relieve the boys of Twin Rocks. The rest of you boys get back to camp. I'll All see right, you later. Vamos. Well, for the love of Mike, what made you do it? It wasn't me, boss. But I got my suspicions who might have done it. Who? That new guy, Smith. Oh, you're nuts. Why, well, I've seen him as plain as day behind the Willis. Just the same, I'm going to stick around here and do a little investigating. All right, I'll go along with you.
All right, Smith, we'll relieve you for a while. Beth, my wife. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean you don't know? What happened? Well, Kramer and one of his men took her away. Where to? They, they grabbed her and carried her off. Where to? They took her to Parson Jones's cabin. Where's Parson Jones's cabin? Yonder. But I wouldn't go there if I was you. They might be watching. Either one of you say a word, I'll blow you to pieces. Move on, hombre. You're going with me. All right, all right. Quick, put him in here in the closet. Tom Lansing, aren't you? How did you know? I knew you when you were a kid. And I know your dad well. Why, I've been praying night and day for you to come here. And my prayer has been answered. But what's all this got to do with me? I was the only witness when Kramer killed old Halliday. And your dad got the blame for the murder. Kramer. Why, dad told me it was Butcher Wells. Yes, Butcher Wells are Kurt Kramer. One and the same. Your dad doesn't know, but I saw everything. Then Kramer and his gang caught me and put me here. Can you prove that my dad is innocent? Yes. There's only one way for us to get out of here. Now listen to me. That's the signal for the kangaroo court. Court. Yes, that means that someone is going to be court-martialed and die. Die? What for? Whenever Kramer and his gang suspect a traitor in the camp, that's what they always do. I might as well go now before they come after me. Now remember, do as I told you. Yes. Well, 
That chair is for Smith. Let me have your gun. Sit down. I guess this is the first kangaroo court you ever sat in. It is. Well, I hope it won't be your last. What's it all about? You'll find out soon enough. Men, there's a double-crosser amongst us. And whoever the guilty one is, he's had his chance to come clean. Nevada. Bring him in. Well, John Law, I'll give you one chance to save your skin. I'm no John Law, and I ain't worrying about my skin. Well, we got ways of making them worry. Now, you'd better come across and tell us which of these men is in cahoots with you. You're just wasting your time and breath. I ain't got no partners here. All right, men. Let's vote. I say bump him off. Same here. Get him to work. Curtains. Rub him off. I'll say so. And what do you say, Smith? This is my answer. Reach for the sky. Daddy, let their hard work. Come on, Butcher Wells. You're coming with me. Butcher Wells? What do you mean, Butcher Wells? Yes, Butcher Wells. The man who killed old man Holiday and paid my father for it. You're Tom Lynch? Right. And it's a pity I've got to take you back alive. You won't take me out. Dead or alive. Come on. The first man shows himself out of this cabin gets popped. Understand? Honey, take Kramer with you and get mounted. Right. Get out. Parson, take the girls to the horses. I'll keep you covered.
board. That's the signal. Byron and Kramer got away, and Tom's gone after them. Boys, you take care of these fellas. Jack, come along with me.
Well, Sheriff, I've got the man I wanted. We got the rest of the gang. Take him back to the settlement. Come on, get up. spend the rest of my life in that place. And I would have if Tom hadn't come along. Yes, and I would have spent the rest of my days in jail. If it wasn't for him. Well, it goes to prove the power of prayer. Yes, especially if it's backed up by a two-fisted and loyal son like my boy Tom. You know, I just happened to think. Parson Jones said he could have our marriage annulled. Why? Because it was performed under a threat. Well, what of it? Oh, nothing. Only I thought that we could uh, get unmarried if you wanted to. Well, if you do, Tom Lansing, I'll never marry you again. Is that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. What do you say we tried some of that? 